this video, we are going to show you a brief footage of our trip to Silver Islet, Tea Room, and our short hike to the Sea Lion. From Thunder Bay City Center, we have to head east to go to Sleeping Giant Provincial Park. It's approximately an hour drive from the city. Along the way is a Terry Fox Monument. I think it's a sweet place for a quick stop for a quick picture moment overlooking Lake Superior and the Sleeping Giant. There's also gas stations with a restaurant and groceries. Plus, you and your family can dig up Ontario's official gemstone at the Amethyst Mines around the area. Lake Mary Louise, great place for most campers, great swimming area, hiking trails and so much more. The swimming area is on the other side, and there's the view of the sleeping giant. This is the entrance of Mary Louise campground, beach area, and other amenities. Heading out now to Silver Islet. Silver Islet was once known as the world's richest silver mine. Today, Silver Islet is an off-grid cottage community with a mixture of renovated mining era houses with new ones. The houses here were originally built to house miners, are now used as private summer cottages. To see the detailed structure and history of the mine, head out to Sleeping Giant Provincial Park Visitor Center. The isle from the distance is the Isle Royale. It's an American national park. Let's go and check Silver Island General Store and Tea Room. This iconic store first opened in 1871. The store and tea room closed in 2015, but in 2020, the store and tea room opened up its doors again. Today's newly renovated Silver Island General Store sells some groceries, local works by local artisans, souvenirs, and so much more. The tea room offers light lunches and homemade baked goods and their delicious signature cinnamon buns. Yes, this is a 150-year-old pool table. Checking now the menu for lunch, and we're gonna go get some cinnamon buns as well. Yes, so we have to try those cinnamon buns. Just checking the area here, the restaurant, while waiting for the food. I have here is the roasted bell pepper soup with homemade biscuit. Just enjoying our lunch. Beautiful view from the tea room stack. If you happen to be in Thunder Bay area, make sure to visit Silver Island. Situated at the end of Sibley Peninsula, adjacent to Sleeping Giant Provincial Park. Here are some products offered by the store. You can order specialty coffee, regular coffee, teas, and other refreshments. And they have a flavorful selection of ice cream as well. Let's go and let's walk around along the harbor. Mmm, so nice. Fresh water in Fresh water lake. 
This small craft harbor on Lake Superior is once again open to the public after a major rehabilitation by Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Let's go to the sea lion. Look at how far you can go. 10.9 Hiking 11 kilometers. For big boys. This one is for easy one. I want to go easy one. Sleeping Giant has many stories around this landmark. One Ojibwe legend identifies the giant as the Nabiju, who turned to stone when the secret location of a rich silver mine, now known as Silver Islet, was disclosed to white men. The sea lion is found in Sleeping Giant Provincial Park. As the legend has it, the sea lion of Silver Islet, also known as Nagochi, was a companion of Nanabiju, the sleeping giant. In the tale, Nanabiju mistakenly believes that Nagochi has betrayed him. In his anger, the giant puts a curse on the beast, turning him to rock. Another tale I heard that when an Abiju, the sleeping giant, turned into a stone, Nagochi, the sea lion, his pet, turned into a stone as well. Nagochi is described as having the wings of an eagle and the feet of a duck. And there you know now the story or legend of the sleeping giant and the sea lion. Oh my God. Yes, here we are at the top of the trail. The sea lion.
to our cabin, or camp I should say, as local people here would say camp instead of their cabin or cottage. Hope you guys enjoyed our short video. Until next time, thank you very much and God bless.